This is Jeremy from HockeyReviewHQ.com. Today we're doing a review of the G1 Extreme Slideboard. Slideboards are pretty cool training tools that you can use to practice your stride, to you practice the lateral movement, you can practice stick handling, face-offs, and just puck movement. So what I'm going to do today is show you what you get with the G1 Extreme Slideboard, how you set it up, how it works, and some different ways you can use it for training for hockey. So let's get started and I'm going to show you what you get. With the G1 Extreme Slideboard, you get this slideboard of course, I'll show you a little bit more about that later on. So this is the company that makes it, Goaler One, and this slideboard is about 9 feet long and 5 feet wide, so you have lots of room. And this is the other stuff you get. So these are the rotating discs, use those to push off of when you're practicing sliding. These are also stoppers for when you're going back and forth, and they give you a variety of booties, so different sizes. I think, and those you just put on your feet when you're sliding on the board. I'm just going to talk a bit more about the board now. This is a slide board here, very slick. I'm just going to put a hockey puck on there and slide it across so you can sort of see how it slides. Nice and smooth. And then on the bottom, we've got grip tape. That's just to hold on to the bottom so it does, the slide board doesn't move back and forth when you're sliding. And they say to use it on the rubber mats in the gym. You can also use it on short carpet like this. It's uh, not the really shag carpet and that's uh, the best way to set it up is on rubber I'm just using a short carpet though and you're probably going to want to know what you can do with it so I'm going to show you right now with the slide board there's a number of drills you can practice at home that relate to hockey the first and easiest is just using a regular hockey puck all you have to do is drop the puck on the board and practice some stick handling you can practice taking face offs I'll just roll a clip here of me with the puck and you can see just moving the puck side to side, you can practice simple fakes, deeks, the puck slides really nicely. I also like to use a green biscuit, and I'll show you a clip here of me using a green biscuit. I like the feel of it, and it moves really nicely on the slide board as well. So the puck and the green biscuit, they both slide great on the side board, and you also practice passing if you have a friend, or just moving the puck around. Uh, pretty decent, and you can also sort of run around the board and get a feel for moving the puck. Next thing that the slide board is made for is actually sliding. So we have these little blue discs right here. These are the rotating discs, and I'll just show you what it looks like to put those in there. I have the blue rotating disc here, and the white part on the bottom just fits in that hole. You give it a nudge, and it'll snap in place. And there's six discs. You put one in each corner and then two in the middle, and that's just to practice pushing off. It's not really to replicate skating and work your skating muscles or give you a workout from skating. Uh, I think it's basically for beginner players who need to work on their stride. So if the players are running on the ice, the rotating discs won't allow them to get a full thrust. To get a full thrust, they have to push off and give a nice solid push and straight back 45 degree angle to move to the next disc. So it's basically teaching your foot movement and your location and your stride and the angle that you have to push off on. So that's the uh, purpose of the rotating discs. Next we have these rectangle pieces. There's two of these and they fit similar to how the rotating discs will, but instead of moving forwards, you're just moving side to side. So you can put them anywhere along this edge and there's uh, multiple spots where you can put them. So you can make it shorter or longer depending on how far you want to slide. With these ones, once again, it's not really exactly like skating, but you can push off and that'll teach players to use their edges. With these, it's nice because you can practice your lateral movements. You can slide back and forth while you're stick handling. So it's kind of cool to do it while you're stick handling with the puck. Instead of just standing still and moving the puck back and forth, you can slide back and forth. So say you need to sidestep a player when you pull a move. It's similar to that motion. You can pull the move, sidestep him, slide over, grab the puck. So it's kind of a cool addition to stick handling. Instead of just standing still, you have a bit of movement in it. So I think that's pretty cool. And now I'm just going to give you my overall thoughts with the slide. Overall, the G1 Extreme Slideboard is a pretty cool product. I'm just going to talk about the, what I liked, what I didn't like. So first, I'll start with what I wasn't too keen about. Uh, first one would be the price. $379, it's pretty steep, uh, quite a bit of money to pay, but I guess you're getting a fairly big size slide board and you can do a few things on it, so there's a pros and cons there. Uh, another thing that I didn't really like about it was the stoppers. They're not really ergonomically designed to catch your feet and to push off of. Um, they work, like you can stop and push off them, but it'd be nice if they had some foam padding included and maybe just some different shapes. Uh, maybe for the disc, make them a cone shape with foam all around it. It'd be easier to push off of and it would feel nicer on the feet. I noticed just from sliding back and forth quite a bit that the outsides of my feet started to hurt a bit. 
So that's one thing for the stoppers. The next thing is for sliding back and forth. I didn't really notice this when I was sliding from the disc to disc, but when I'm sliding back and forth, they have all these holes lined up, and it doesn't really impede your sliding. It's just a bit of an annoyance, so it's not really that big of a deal. I just thought I'd mention it for the review, and you know maybe someone else might notice it there. Um, but it still works great for sliding, and that's what I'm going to get to next is the things that I really did like about the sideboard. One thing that I really liked about the sideboard is how well you can actually slide on it. When you get the booties on, you push off, you can slide from one end right to the other. It feels really cool to be sliding sideways like that, similar to how you are on the ice. So I thought that was really cool. And also with a puck, a uh, rubber puck or a training puck, they both slide very well on the sideboard. So that's really cool. You can practice stick handling. And if you just use it for that alone, you're going to get a lot of use out of it because you can practice stick handling. You don't even really need to slide on if you don't want to. You can put on shoes, you can run around the outside and practice stick handling and stop, start, going side to side. So your quick movements and it's really good for stick handling on. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, not too sure about the overall quality in the long run, but I was reading on their website that if you put furniture, furniture polish on, then it'll keep it nice and smooth. So just uh, for general care, if you do have the sideboard and you notice it's uh, not sliding as well as it first did, maybe put some furniture polish on it and it'll slide a lot better. The next thing I really liked about the sideboard is the multiple applications. I've used other sideboards and you can only slide back and forth. Well, this one is kind of cool because it's so big, you can slide you know, from one corner to the middle, from the middle to the other corner, and you can also slide back and forth, and you can also use it for stick handling because it's so big. And that's the next thing that I really liked about it is the size. It's uh, very big. You can use it with a couple people if you want. So if you have your friends over, you can both practice stick handling on it. You practice passing, and you can do some sliding while you're stick handling. So that's a pretty cool overall application. One thing that I wish they had gotten is the stoppers. Just make them a bit more comfortable, and that would really improve the overall quality in my mind. That's the overall review. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you want to see more reviews of hockey products, check out hockeyreviewhq.com. Thanks a lot for watching the videos. Don't forget to check out the website, and we'll see you in the next video.